Hi everyone, I am Paris Anija, fashion designer and freelance illustrator. So this video is going to be about the graphic tablets and mouse. So basically when we are doing digital illustration on laptop and iPad, so we have a different versions like in the laptop we use mouse and graphic tablet and in iPad we have our Apple Pencil or we can call it like stylus. So there are different ways to do the illustration. So there is no as such rule to use a mouse or a graphic tablet for their laptop purpose. So basically every every device have their own features, advantages and disadvantages. So in the mouse it's very convenient like you can take your mouse with you and you can just write and scribble around with it. But the thing is in mouse we have a very disadvantages. What disadvantage we have like we have to uh, do everything slowly slowly we have to go to that points and do it. But with the graphic tablet it's come under very easy process. Like you have a stylus with you and you have to just move around the place. Okay, so I will going to show you okay, how this thing work and uh, there is a very much confusion about the students okay, which one to get like which version we can uh, download and all. So the thing is okay, there are a lot of graphic tablets are available and this video is not anything sponsored by any brand. So we have Ecom as well, we have Huyen, we have HP Band and we have a XP. So these are the basic bigger brands we use for a graphic tablets. And I mostly prefer if you are a fashion design student or illustrator. So always buy the budgeted one for the starting because you have to figure out it is working for you. And these graphic tablets start around like 2000 rupees and it goes to 20,000 as well. So which I will be using up here, I will be using 2600 graphic tablet. It is around 2600. Okay, so this is a Huyen version. I am using this from past six months and it's working well. I recommend this only for my student. So you, if you want to get it, so you can check the link in the description. So you will get to know like whichever I use. And if you have Wacom or any other, so you can use that. Okay. So I'm not a very big fan of Wacom because I have a, my purpose is solved with Huyen. So I'm not going for Wacom. Even I have Wacom and HP, every, most of the brands I have few models. And so I use mostly Hoyan. This is the best version for me and this is a budgeted and it's quite convenient to use. So now I will be going to show you ki how this so this work with the software, how we can use this uh, graphic tablets. So Hi everyone. So now I, I am explaining you guys ki how to use a graphic tablet. Okay. So with the graphic tablet you mostly mostly in every brand you get two things. One thing is the slate kind of people call it slate but this is a tablet so this tab you will get and this kind of stylus you will get and few more things also you will get uh, so like you will get some extra tips and some of these wires and different things are there so we'll get some basic things with the graphic tablet so this is a very basic video of how to use a graphic tablet okay so i will be teaching you few basic texts that how this thing work how to you give a embroidery thing and how to give a sheets and all so this is what we will be going to learn in this graphic tablet basic video okay so now the thing is ki first understand the basic thing okay so like this is a graph tablet here okay so this is a tablet and this is our stylus so in this stylus we have a few things to understand okay so basically this is a grip so that's why i use this human one because i love this grip because this is a super soft and you don't get this kind of grip in most of the budgeted tablets so this is what i like in this and you have this key i don't use this key because i don't know how to set up and all so so this is here this this is how you need to hold this thing okay it's totally up to your convenience you can hold just like a pencil you hold and this is a part of your screen now the thing is ki what is this part okay these four buttons are there these are the shortcut key like you can try like on your laptop how this is working but in my it is like one key is for like size changing and one thing is for going back so maybe with the windows laptop it will be a li little bit different okay and the main part of working is this area so what is this area so just imagine one thing okay, this from this to this is your this to this this to this is this to this see the left to right of this is a left to right of your screen okay it is totally similar whether you are getting six inches whether you are getting 11 inches it will hardly make any difference okay so both of the thing is similar like if i take this tab to the cor corner side so my cursor will go to the corner side 
okay so like i am writing here see you can see i am writing in the corner side see if i am taking my cursor to this corner okay i am writing here you can see you can see it is written in the corner side or similarly if i am writing here you can see it more properly in this side so this is how this thing work okay so you need to see your screen as well and you need to create according to that and if i am in the center and my sketch will work in the center okay so now understand now ki how it work like so when you are using mouse so normally this is a mouse which i use so normally if i move like this so then our cursor move okay and if i click on the point then means we have a left click and we have a right click so this is how we work and this is a movement similarly with the graphic tablet also it is a same but it is a little bit different like in the this thing you have to move on the surface but in this you have to move above this one so you can see here i don't know ki you guys are able to see my cursor on the screen or not see if i'm moving like this on the above so my cursor will move okay so it's not like this ki you have to do a magical kind of thing you have you can just your this area you can place like this and just place like this your hand but this tip should be above it okay so now you can use it to work with okay so normally if i want to let's take example i am opening a new file in front of you guys so currently i am using photoshop okay so you can use this with any of the software like illustrator or photoshop corel so you can use with any of the software okay so currently i am using on photoshop let's take example with this i am just moving around so my cursor is moving if i want to write this if i want to do a left click like we do with the mouse so similarly we need to touch on the screen see touch i am touching the screen then i am writing it like this so you can see the difference here how the mouse work and this just the thing is this consider this as a left click consider this as a left click similarly and if you want to do right click so just hold your control key here and then click again so you will get a right click once again so normally left click is like this click and move this is a left click and hold your control key click again you get a right click so left click and right click are just simply like this and so normally uh, these are the basic two things we need to understand just the main thing is this mastering this one okay, if i'm going here where my cursor is going if i'm going here where my cursor is going just you need to master this point and uh, chalo let's take example i'm making a shape here so normally i have made a shape like this now i want to fill the color so normally in the photoshop tool photoshop to you can fill from top option okay so like this now if i am doing a shading so you can see it is similar like i am taking a darker tone of this okay so i am taking a brush tool normally here okay just with the square brackets i was changing the size nothing else so see we have to just judge where our cursor is moving like i want to give a shade on this part so i will move my cursor like this here to that center point so i am here i will move like this it's working similarly i will do like this it is very simple and it is very easy to work with the graphic tablet if you are a mouse user so i will recommend you guys to at least try one time how to use this graphic tablet and at least try one time if you have a budget to buy one okay so there is a uh, link is there in the description this is a, a link of this huyen one which i use and th this is quite budgeted so you can if you want to buy it so you can check out, check the link in the description so like this it is working okay so you can just right click and see this how simple this work it is very easy to work with the graphic tablet okay so it was this much easy you don't need to do anything whether i'm working with the pen tool whether i'm working with any of the tool most of the tools are very fluent with this normally let's take example if i'm using a pen tool so see how easily i can do it just holding the control key 
so this placement is also perfect like what i have done it now you can little bit place uh, your graphic tablet near to your screen as well and normally you can do it like this how i am doing it is the best work like which i do this is the best placement i am talking about the placement this is a work let's see how easily you can work with the graphic tablet okay it is very easy you have taken like i have taken one minute <laughs> to draw this if i do same thing with the mouse okay i think this is not connected so yeah so normally the thing is ki whether you are tracing the thing whether you are writing something whether you are illustrating or you are giving some effects every kind of thing can be done with a graphic tablet okay normally my cursor is like see this key is just to make the size bigger and this key is just to ha huh, convert uh, my cursor into a hand tool okay and this is this is making the size smaller so yeah every you you have to see like on your what is working but i am literally saying do not buy just for the keys if you are getting some other tablet just with the screen so you can buy that because these are not much useful i don't find it much useful keyboard is a much useful thing for me so this is how you can do it yeah and it is very interesting and very easy to do whether when you are doing some embroidery like if i show you some embroidery kind of technique so if i was doing the embroidery in this part so see how it is easy it is like i'm taking a okay let me take a little bit white color and i want to give a little bit effect here see how easy i can do it see doodle kind of embroidery is or you can call it like 3d embroidery is and all motif embroidery print making so these kind of things can be done very easily like while talking with you guys only i have done a little bit of effects here so see how easy it is to work with this graphic tablet so now those who are um, mouse users they can definitely try this thing this is a very interesting and you will enjoy the process actually <laughs> those who face like doubt like ki brush tool is not working with the mouse better so the because the thing is ki mouse is not too much handy and friendly you can move it very quickly because this is just holding your complete hand is occupied but in this you have like pencil kind of thing just you need to move around and it those who want to like buy a tablet like ipad or something so i will suggest first try this one this is not too much expensive you can try with this and you will definitely enjoy the process okay those who just want to work with a laptop and their graphic tablet so this is the best option to work with okay so this is a very basic video and i hope ki i have shown you all the basic techniques to use this graphic tablet if you want something else apart from in this graphic tablet only if you want something else to learn it ki how to we can do that so you can drop in the comment box i will see and i will make a video according to it because according to my reference the basic tool video is this one this is how a graphic tablet is working and if you feel ki you want something else to know about the graphic tablet you can drop the comment below so that i can read and i can make a new video for that and yeah this was a basic video and this is a we are running a series you can say for youtube so tutorial with paris so you can comment below if you like the series and do subscribe on the channel if you love this content i will be posting much fashion related content and it was it was good and do like it because i think then do drop a like and comment because youtube understand us as and youtube promote these kind of content so it will be very helpful for me and for you guys to get more content 